It's week two of the NFL preseason, where depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Packers and the Broncos on Sunday night primetime. We're a couple miles from the Colorado State Capitol building. It's in Power Field at Mile High here in Denver. We thank you for joining us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. It is week two of the preseason. Greg, as the coaches get ready for this one, you'd never know a preseason game was what we were preparing for. There was a focus and intensity after getting on the field for the first time as a unit in week one. You're exactly right, Mike. We had an opportunity to meet with these coaches, and from the way they talked, you would have thought this was week 10 of the regular season. And I think really what it boils down to, this is another great opportunity to have your players play in live full contact, full competitive against another opponent. You don't get a lot of those opportunities nowadays in practice, and both these coaches want to take advantage of this opportunity here today. Short kick taken at the 17. And they will finally get him down, but he gets all the way close to the 40-yard line. The Broncos led by the rookie, quarterback Bo Nix out of Oregon, the rookie, the last of the quarterbacks taken in the first round, number 12 overall. He's been around, he's 24 years old, but the rookie runs it for the Broncos. These preseason games, Mike, they could be a little bit tricky for so many guys on the roster. It's just check the box. It's one more step to getting to the regular season. But for these young quarterbacks, you just can't place enough value on them how important these game reps are. And here for a young quarterback who's looking to prove his worth that potentially being the starting quarterback week one, how does he command the huddle? How does he manage a game-like atmosphere? Until you put him under the bright lights, you just don't know the answers to the questions. They'll go again with Williams. And he'll bring this up to the 48-yard line. And that's a first down. Working out of the gun. It's Nix. In trouble. And down he goes. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the shotgun, here's Nix. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Nix from the gun on third down. And the defense unrelenting a third consecutive sack. I don't have any real advanced analysis for this one, Mike. I mean, I think the simplest way to categorize it is this possession has been a disaster. To return, it's Nixon. And it's a good solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season as quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter, waited his turn, and had a really good first year as a starter. And remember now, Mike, since they made the schedule change, this week two of the three-week preseason is really the opportunity to have a dress rehearsal for a lot of these starters. We see them get more game opportunities and game reps, all in preparation for week one to kick off. But for the rest of the team, there's the guys looking to fight for roles. And there's a lot of guys just looking to fight to make the roster. Completes this one. That's Christian Watson. And the tackle is going to be made down at the 40-yard line. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground. You break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. 
on the ground, this is the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Love. He'll take a shot here for the end zone. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Trying to connect with Romeo Dobbs that time. And it's going to bring up a third down. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. That ball is caught on the sideline, and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. That one good for 26 yards. We spent so much time talking about arm strength, and while that certainly has a place in the conversation, look at the touch of this ball, Mike. It's a deep corner out. This ball needs to have the right pace, the right trajectory to not only get it over the second-level defenders, but get that ball down into the hands of his target. He makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. Now, Jacobs. And he will get into the end zone. Josh Jacobs, touchdown Green Bay. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. So the lead stands at 6-0 as this one is kicked off. A return coming from the 14. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Broncos offense ready now for their second drive. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. To throw is Nix. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. I could go on and on about the offensive line breakdowns with this pass protection, and it's been flat-out brutal. But let's give some credit to the other side of the ball. They came in not only motivated to make a statement, but with a great game plan, and so far they've executed it to a T. That lane closes quickly. A pickup of three. Powerful Rashawn Gary there in run support. Third and long. Now Nick's going to look to throw. I fumbled the football. But this is taken in by a teammate. After these kind of plays, Mike, you just wish the sideline was a mile away because you know when you get there, you are going to catch an earful. They stress all week, ball carriers, we have to protect the ball. In this case, it doesn't result in a turnover, but the lost yardage now brings up fourth down. These are drive killers. And the Broncos bring out their punter. They'll kick it away. As he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. This will be returned from the other side of midfield. And it's a good return here. He's going to set his guys up with outstanding field position. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. It's the Packers on top. Greg and I back in Denver in just a moment. First and 10 now from the 36. On the bootleg, it's Love. This one is complete along the sideline. A very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. The best guys I've been around 
Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in balance. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. To throw is love. This one deep and looking for Melton. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. Here's Jacobs, and he will fight his way to the end zone. Josh Jacobs, touchdown Packers. He's got another one, his second touchdown of the evening. What a standout performance early on in this one, that his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Oh, he missed another one. Another missed extra point. Two thus far tonight. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Traymond Smith on the return. And he'll bring it out to the 22-yard line. That's where the offense will take the field. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense. Well, the ball comes out, and the scramble for it, it ends up becoming a turnover, and the offense walks off the field disappointed with that fumble. Mike, when you look at a stat sheet at the end of the game and you want to determine which team wins and which team loses, at the top of the list is ball security. Which team does a better job protecting it and which team does a better job taking it away? After that fumble recovery, a big opportunity here. First and goal. The man in motion is Watson. Here's a run. And a nice run. It's down to the five-yard line. Now, here's second and goal. One more time, it's Jacobs. He'll get a couple, mark them down at the three. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. They'll run with Jacobs. And he's got another one. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. His big night continues. His third touchdown of the game. So his big first half continues. Three rushing touchdowns already. Maybe have to start looking at the record book. See if he can do it. The record in a game is six. And now another extra point off the mark. Three misses on extra points in this game alone. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. 
Here's Smith to return it. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense headed back to take over once more. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. And the drive begins with a run by Williams. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Play action now. It's Knicks. He will air this out, looking for Sutton. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Throwing, Knicks. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. It's Riley Dixon coming on now, as he's standing right around his own goal line. This returnable from inside his own 40. And it's a good solid return as he takes it back up near midfield. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. Love to throw on first and 10. That one on target to Watson. Okay, right. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. From the gun, it's Love. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Here we go. Here we go. To throw is Love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it go. on fourth down. They'll go for it. Love. That's taken in. It's a gain of 10 as they get the conversion on fourth down. First and goal at the six-yard line. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. Here we go, set. Ready. Now love. That is caught side of the end zone. Luke Musgrave. Touchdown, Packers. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? 
it takes them completely out of their game plan knowing this early in the game they're chasing points still a little time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Broncos offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll do so with first and 10. Back to throw is Nix. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They'll throw. It's Nix. He's got it. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, here's a first and ten. Here's Nix to throw. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Now, a second down throw for Nix. He's got his receiver. It's Cortland Sutton. And he'll be taken down after a gain of nine. And third down. Coming up. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. So we are at halftime in this preseason matchup as we send you to Orlando to check in with the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Mike, thanks very much. Back to you and Greg in just a moment. Want to remind everyone, this is week two of the preseason. These two teams will have one more tune-up after this next week before the regular season gets started on the Thursday following Labor Day. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He was running with a purpose as he found the end zone three times in that first half. And that opposing defense had better come up with a scheme for slowing him down. We get set for half number two. This is going to be taken in at the three. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Packers offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They've definitely outplayed their opponents to this point in the third quarter. Might be looking to grind out some first downs and chew up some valuable time on the clock. They'll run it with the Boston College Bruiser, A.J. Dillon. And he finds some space tackled after a gain of seven on first down. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Right back to Dillon. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three. But a short yardage situation coming up on third down. We'll try to run for it with Dillon. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. The offense is trying to test the edges of the perimeter of this defense, Mike. But the defense is just too quick to the ball. Total team defense. Pursuit. 11 hats to the ball carrier. It's exactly what we saw here. Keep that game to nothing. So, from the 36, it is first and 10. A give. Here's Dillon. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, 
second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. And he'll gain about six there as it's up past the 35-yard line. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. On third down, it's Rattler. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. On comes the Packers punting team. And we will not see a return on this one, as it will be marked down. The Broncos offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here. And everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Second down and eight. On the ground, this is Piran. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. You hope against hope here in the preseason, especially that it's not too serious. Third and five. From the shotgun, Wilson. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not and be taken down there. The Broncos bringing out their puncher. He's on to punt it for the fourth time tonight. This one fielded out beyond the 25. The Packers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Rattler. That's caught, it's Marshawn Lloyd. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. And this will not be a spike, he faked it. This is caught. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. With that, we'll take a look at the draft class from back in April. These guys decided to build up that offensive line. You see they're using a first-round pick on alignment to hopefully give a little more protection to their franchise quarterback. Third and short yardage, and here's Rattler. That's over the middle and take it in. He's got it. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Slot receiver headed right. He'll look deep, left sideline. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. How often do we see teams kind of nurse these big leads, Mike, especially as the game unfolds? They turn to the ground game. They try to slow everything down. Well, not this offense. They refuse to take their foot off the gas. They're still mining for explosive plays. And frankly, with the way today's gone, I don't blame them.
So we are through three. EA Sports back for more from the NFL preseason after this. It is third and ten. Off play action, here's Rattler. And that is incomplete. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while, it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. And this one's going to be downed inside the 20-yard line. The home team's offense ready to get back to work. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Wilson. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. He'll try and get there on the ground. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here comes a return. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. This one appears to be safe in hand. It has been a clinical performance to this point. Now they'll try to finish up strong. Here's a second and six. It's another go with Dillon. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. It's a run out of the gun. Here's Dillon. And he will have a Packers first down. They're able to get the third down conversion. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They try the right side with Dylan. Just refusing to go down. He winds up with a gain of seven. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And he'll be close to a first down, a gain of a couple as they mark him just short. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. You hope against hope here in the preseason, especially that it's not too serious. They'll look to pick this up 
third and a yard. Try to run it with Lloyd. And he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line with the official signal. He's got enough for the first down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Running here is Dillard. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Look him up on a second down and eight. A run with Dylan. And he'll get this close to a first down. Gets about seven, maybe a yard short of the first down. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll put him down right at the 20, but they'll also move the sticks. That is a first down picked up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll run it. It's Dillon. And the Packers have a first and goal forthcoming. He takes this down to the five-yard mark. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. You'll get maybe a yard down to the four-yard line. So it's a win here for the visiting Packers. As we move closer to the regular season... They'll wrap up the preseason with the finale next week before we get it going for real come September. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Denver, good night, everybody.